Okay. What is up, YouTube? Reporting to you live from the roof of our van. Today's project is to tackle some roof tasks. Um, this solar panel is huge and it's placed long ways on the van and we want to put an AC unit on the back and it will not fit with how this is currently positioned. So we are going to remove it, rotate it. We are doing a little DIY rack. We are installing a DIY roof rack with aluminum struts and this, bit, this solar panel will run side to side on top of that rack. So today, we need to uninstall this solar panel, get the uh, silicone adhesive off of the roof, clean, patch the holes, and I think that's it. Solar panel and roof, super dirty. I will give you a little sneak peek. That's the roof disgusting solar panel also disgusting um, it was like this when we got it we did not neglect it but going to tidy that up get this thing removed and get started So we got the solar panel unbolted and the sealant removed. Time to get it off the roof. One issue that we had with the solar panel is disconnecting it. One of the connectors, you have to have a special tool to remove it. So what Ricky ended up doing is just cutting the wire and we're gonna buy more of these on Amazon and get a new one connected. Gotta buy a new male MC4 connector and then we're gonna have to recrimp the wire and reconnect it. So now we are cleaning up the holes really good and then spraying them with Rust-Oleum and then putting Dicor over them and then for extra waterproof sealant we're going to put the waterproof tape, I forgot what it's called, Eternabond tape. We're going to put that over it as well. And then when we re reconnect the solar panel to the roof uh, rails, we won't need to cut any holes into the van, which will be really nice. Here's just a little better view of how disgusting this roof is. We have the previous mount holes sanded, painted. That's the last one. Um, and then once it's all dried up, we're going to get sealant in there and this uh, the sealant tape over it as well, just to make sure it's double whammy and not gonna leak. And then the goal from there, it's going to be to get this thing clean so we can get our DIY rack mounted and the solar panel to that. We decided to ditch the scrubbing and we are now at the car wash to wash the roof. Probably still gonna have to scrub, but this will probably be easier with the pressure washer and all that. Yeah. 
So for the previous holes, we are going to fill those holes with this lat sealant, non-leveling, non-sag, um, this white, match the van. We're going to put a nice little bead on this, on the outside, potentially on the inside as well, and then give it about 24 hours to dry. We're also gonna throw, what's that tape called? Uh, er, uh, Eternabon. It's Eternabon tape. So we got all of our holes from the solar panel sealed with our Dicor sealant. We have to wait for that to dry overnight until we can lay a turnabond tape over that, uh, which will be an extra layer of protection. You only need the Dicor or the turnabond tape to fill holes, but we're, do we're doing both for the peace of mind. We got the van pretty clean and we uncovered lots of rust on the rooftop. So now we will be spending the rest of the evening getting all of this off of the van. So, Ricky, oh, blurry. Ricky and I will see you another day when we continue the roof. Hey again, we are working on the roof. As you can see, it's getting dark out because we spent the day scrubbing the rust. Again, it's very strenuous, I it must is, say. Yeah. Uh, that being said, we are gonna start mounting our DIY roof rack. For the roof rack, all you will need is this DIY van kit with the mounts. You do not need the one with the L brackets, which is about twice the price if you get aluminum strut channels from somewhere other than 8020. We got our aluminum strut channels from McMaster Car. They're 10 feet long and we spray paint in them black with Rust-Oleum spray and they look great. Although there are four of these mounting points on each side of the ProMaster van, we only purchased six of these mounts total instead of eight because we chose to have a roof rack channel that is only 10 feet long and will not run the entirety of the van length. The reason we did this is we have a large AC unit that will take up a lot of the back space, so we don't need a channel that runs the whole way. However, if you want a channel that runs the whole length, we recommend getting eight of these total. And they come with all the hardware to mount them. So these are the, um, the, the manufactured mounting points for roof racks that come on the ProMasters. And like she said earlier, the, the mounting equipment um, from DIY vans is specifically manufactured for this and I, they have them for uh, transits and sprinters too if I'm not mistaken but all right so with these you want to put on this little nub right here it sits just like that and this piece is kind of angled on one side and that end goes towards this the curvature side of the van set it right here it's right on top of it obviously it needs to be mounted but the way you actually fully mount it is you put the struts you mount all these on all the points and then you put the struts down and then you uh, use the nuts so we did run into a small hiccup but we fixed it relatively quickly um, so these slats already came you know pre-drilled there's like there's a bunch of series of uh, holes throughout it and we were under the impression that those holes were compatible with these mounts. But apparently the mounts are like a quarter inch further apart than the holes in the slats. So we had to drill our own holes in the slats. Um, like I said, it wasn't too, too complicated. Um, luckily these are aluminum and you know we had the right drill bits to, to drill through it. From drilling, um, kind of chipped up the paint a little bit 
um, from the, the drill nicking right here. Um, so we're gonna touch that up. We're also gonna touch up in here where the hole is as well to make sure there's no exposed aluminum. Paint that, paint these nicks, and then it will be good to finally actually mount down. I just wanted to show you exactly how to fully mount them, to fully mount the slats to the uh, ProMaster mounts. So it, all this comes with these DIY roof rack mounts as well. So you got your washer, you're gonna throw it on the bolt, then you got your nut. Tighten that on there. And then you'll do that for the series of however many mounts you have. Tighten it all the way down, and then you have a roof rack. And we will provide all of the specs and lengths of the slats and everything else in the description, um, just in case if something like this interests you, you already know what you need. So day two of roof rack and solar panel mounting. Um, we we got our, our roof rails up and we ended up actually having to get some, some bigger washers. So be, because of the holes that were, were drilled in here, but we got the bigger washers, um, got this thing mounted, bolted down, and now we have our solar panel, solar panel sitting where it's going to be. It's symmetrical on both sides and we, are, we just got done marking where we need to drill the holes on all four ends. Um, so we will take this back down, get the holes drilled and use uh, our additional mounting equipment to get this bad boy mounted to the struts. Our first step to get the solar panel mounted to the strut channel is to get this attached to here, just like that. How we are doing that is we figured out the exact point that we need where this is going to lie on the strut channel. We are drilling our own holes. We're working our way up to a 3 8 width drill bit to make a hole big enough for our 3 8 carriage bolt. We'll put a lock washer on the carriage bolt, slide this up underneath, and then place our flat washer on there and then screw it tight with a nut. And the final result will look like this. And this is when we know that we are ready to mount this to the roof. I'm going to butt in really quick right here. I will explain exactly what we used and how much money we spent. Okay, so to start, we got the idea for our roof rails from thehuntersvanlife.com. They have a blog about a DIY roof rack specifically for the ProMaster. That being said, it was a little confusing, but it was a really good head start in terms of how to know how to build a DIY roof rack. I will put links in the description and I'll tell you how many of each thing that we used for uh, our setup, which ours looks exactly like theirs, except we have just one large panel instead of two. We purchased our aluminum struts from McMaster car. So this is a receipt of what we spent for, for the products that we got from McMaster car. And that included the two 10 foot um, strut channels, the square washers, galvanized uh, spring nuts, and then the strut covers that we have yet to use. That came out to a total of 145. Uh, the one thing when ordering from them was they didn't give me a shipping price until after I placed the order. So it was 
a nice surprise when I found out it was $90 to ship. However, even with that being said, it was still cheaper than if we had gone with like an 80-20 setup or purchased our uh, roof rack from someone, someone else. So the total of the McMaster car supplies was 256. On top of that, we had to purchase washers. We had to purchase uh, hex bolts, carriage bolts, nuts for those, um, Rust-Oleum. We had to purchase the DIY mounts. Okay, so the total price of this roof rack setup cost us about $420. You can obviously do it cheaper if you use like steel or metal, but this is a really good price for having an aluminum rack set up, which is exactly what we wanted without spending a thousand plus dollars on a roof rack. Please like and subscribe if you found this stuff helpful um, and definitely let me know in the comments if you have any more detailed questions. I know it's a little hard to explain and probably confusing to some people, but thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Huntersvanlife.com. And we got this concept off of a blog post from thehunters.com. Is that what it was? Thehuntersvanlife.com. Um, and we got this kind of layout and concept from the Hunters Van blog. Hunters Hunt Van Life. The Hunters Van Life. The Hunters. Yeah, the Hunters Van Life. And we kind of got this uh, layout and concept from the the hunter's van life uh, blog post. Oh, 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 okay.